time now for another edition of our new series working for our community. There's a whole lot of good happening right here in San Diego. We want to share how some nonprofits are making a difference. CBS H Jenny Day recently visited Fire Station 45 in Mission Valley. In fact, that's the station that responded to the brush fire in Mission Valley. We told you at the top of the newscast. Uh, Jenny has more on how the San Diego Fire Rescue Foundation is making our crews and community safer. Shedding some light on the good work that's happening here at the San Diego Fire Rescue Foundation. Far too many of us have been impacted by our wildfires. Minutes make a difference. It's so much safer, so much quicker that we, hey, we have to have these. The San Diego Fire Rescue Foundation is credited with saving lives behind the scenes. I will never run into a burning building. I will never, you know, rescue somebody from the side of a road or, or a cliff or wherever. But the fact that I can put tools in their, their hands so that they can do their job better and protect our community, amazing. The foundation helps bridge the gap from what the city's budget does and doesn't cover for firefighters, paramedics, and lifeguards by enhancing equipment, technology, and training. Anyone who supports the foundation is a hero in my book. Sometimes five, ten dollar donations come from individuals who just want to say thank you. Other times grant money is secured or corporations step up. Following the Cedar Fire in 2003, when flames got far too close for comfort, Ray McEwen wanted to donate a brush rig. It's all terrain and goes where fire trucks can't go. They were in my neighborhood with trucks on the perimeter. They lost a couple houses. They saved the rest of them, including mine. And if you're feeling inspired by all of the good work that's happening here, you, of course, can make a tax-deductible donation. They're in need of really tools of all kind to help clear brush. Really, chainsaws would be helpful right now, as well as those protective chaps. One of my top priorities right now is the tourniquet. These are about $40 a piece, and that's not expensive, but when you have to outfit a 1,000 firefighters, it adds up. A thousand firefighters across 52 different stations benefit from the public-private partnership. Fire Rescue Foundation funded these. Uh, this is an example of something that we use when we need to get out of a building quickly. Most recently, the life-saving donations have helped purchase the Genesis Rescue Tool, better known as the Jaws of Life, and multi-gas detectors. They can look for flammable gases, uh, oxygen saturations. Anything that we can do to enhance that really is an investment in public safety. The San Diego Fire Rescue Foundation also educates, recruits, and supports future firefighters. I feel completely blessed to have worked almost 30 years now with so many brave uh, men and women on San Diego Fire Rescue. To find out how to donate, head to CBS8.com.